Hello and welcome to Retro Zord Review, episode 19. Uh, well, almost 20, that's that's a lot. Uh, we shift into higher gear with Turbo this time, Turbo Megazord to be exact. Um, we have five individual Zords, this time no mag magical beasts, no dinosaurs, uh, no shapes like in Zeo. Um, we have cars uh, for the first time and uh, well, kind of funny if you want to uh, go that route. Um, Car Ranger in Super Sentai saved that franchise where O Ranger, which was our Zio, almost killed the Super Sentai franchise. And for us, it was like a Zio was like a big hit. Uh, a lot of people liked it. And I don't know if it saved the show at some point, but Turbo was so not liked uh, between and still is to this day because of the blue ranger of justin because like oh a kid is, is becoming a power ranger and stuff that a lot of people hate the turbo season um i like the turbo season i'm not a real big fan of uh, yeah the little kid justin being a ranger it's okay it could have been worse um but yeah um Enough like history lesson about this. We have five individual zords. Uh, as I said, we have cars. Uh, we have kind of a we, we go in reverse. We have like a, a, a rescue theme, like like um, ambulance thing, I guess, if you want to call it like this. This this goes more like in the ambulance style colors with the pink ranger, even though it's white. Um, we have uh, two SUVs, the four and the three. They look at the first uh, like really, really the same, but there are some differences. The uh, front hood here and the light and everything that's a bit different, but they are similar. Um, the Mountain Blaster, the number two, um, is I guess this was Wind Chaser, Desert Thunder, and Storm Chaser. I don't know. I, I don't know 100%. It's been a while, but I know for sure this is like. Uh, this is Red Lightning, this is Mount Blaster, I don't know, I'm not sure with, the, with Adam Zord at this point, or Carlos later on, depends. Um, but um, the biggest uh, um, difference to the Japanese counterpart to the Japan toys is they're a bit more fancy. Um, here's some silver paint missing on the wheels. Um, this one here is totally black. Um, it should be like silver, like on, on the middle part. Uh, it says Power Rangers, Power Vehicle uh, on the tires. Uh, that's not with the Japan toys because it's Power Rangers and <laughs> not Super Sentai. Um, they keep the metal in here. This is the die cast here, the the back part. This one here. Um, this is this is chromy plastic, uh, but this part here and the front for the connected parts for the Mega Zord is, is metal as well. Uh, the Zord comes with a sword, uh, which is way more fancy in Japan as ours. It's this is like goldish. And the blade is uh, like more. This is rubber plastic. This is in Japan. It's like a chromy silver thing like this. Uh, same goes for the shield. The shield looks good, but this is like gray plastic in Japan. It's silverish. Um, like on the show, um, when when the swords transform, uh, these two uh, go first. Um, this lifts up here basically as a foot. Uh, this guy does the same front piece it's a really easy way of transforming but still i like it a lot uh i don't know which is which is what now at this point let me see i guess you need to be like which is in which is out i guess you need to be like this um the mountain blaster is the most complex one about this um this part here lifts up and plugs out and then you have these two metal pieces which go out and as I said this is heavy this is metal um, they, they kept that which is nice uh, so I guess if that would be plastic that this might broken off over time this toy is really old um, I guess this one has a year on it yeah it's from 96 so um, the how do I show that right? Uh, well, let's see. Um, this back part here goes down. It's it's like a ramp in the show, and when it's just like the red one just slides in. And here's here's a here's a wall in there. So if you don't open this fully up, it's supposed to be this won't go down. So you can see it's 
it's it's going down that card at the red card at the lightning um the red lightning fits in there so basically this attaches here and here um come on so in the show they they drive like this the white rain the white the pink ranger attaches and then boom they lift up i will this goes in the back i just have him standing here and the last part is basically this flipping over and then going up this is the last transformation part the white oh God, white range the pink ranger sword not white this is pink sorry get that in your head quite as um sorry because of the color um mine's a small yellowish here in the front of the yellow over time just just a little bit i'm happy it's mostly white but it was brighter in the past, so it splits apart. Um, hands flip out. And I've seen that a lot on eBay when you see those swords. Here, here's the connected part which also flips out. A lot of people forget that when they do the Mega Sword. The door actually opens up and goes up. So a lot of, lot of people forget that that's the thing. So... Same, you have to be careful. I mean, this, this connected part is metal, but still it can break because it's not entirely metal. And then you just have this. And you can see this this color, there, the color, I don't know if the cam picks it up. The front piece is darker than the, the back piece, but this goes in here. If I find the right place, yeah, this goes in here. And this is just lifting, and we have the Megazord's head. So I really like that, and don't forget this goes up. Uh, the sword in general looks good, and for my opinion, as I said, a lot of people don't like Turbo because of the Blue Ranger is a small kid. But I think the show is a bit underrated. Um, the title theme is fun. I always like uh, the intro. It's very short, sadly, but there's a longer version of the theme. But um, the swords are great. Um, second half i mean there's a lot of controversy uh, but as i said a bit of history lesson here uh don't want to make the video too long but um the beloved team which is there um half halfway the show like like half of the season um the, the main cast which you know from basically from mighty morphin season one or and two uh well tommy at least from the first season then from this uh, from this catherine from the third season and the other rangers from from the second season um they they, they all leave they they there was stuff in the background which i'm not 100 percent uh, like aware of what happened exactly but i guess there were some issues with contracts and stuff but so they they changed the actors i mean they get older anyways you, you have to keep that in mind you can't go like oh power rangers are teens and you have like 40 seasons where there are the i mean jdf is getting old by now here yeah, yeah, and i can understand i i love the green ranger i, I like uh, obviously with that in the background um i like jdf a lot but um he he will turn 50 60 whatever in some years so uh, he can't play a young teenager or even like a f forever that's not possible that's with every actor he has to uh, portray or will portray a certain role but um that's where, as a kid, you don't really understand, and I at first I don't like that. But I then you ranges were nice, and I, I the, the the main part where I really started to hating those <laughs> ranges was at the end of the season. Oh, spoiler alert! They destroy they destroyed the entire swords. They destroyed the command server. Everything that was built up from start to finish from the previous team got destroyed because of them. And I really really hated those rangers for that. Um, they got kind of redeemed in, in space from me get, getting on the quest to get Zordon back and stuff. But in the end, I, I really, I was really grumpy and angry at them as a kid. Uh, I understand it is a TV show; it's mainly for kids. But as I said, the show is underrated in my opinion. But enough blabbing. Um, I, I just could give the Zord a spin when I talk, but I forgot about that. Give him a sword, give him a spin, and I guess we're basically done for today. Uh, so, sorry, but uh, I'm, I'm. I'm the way I am. I'm always. I always when I f have a point where I can, where, where I'm really, what I really like, I get to start talking, talking. It's hard to stop myself or 
even other people like my wife like stop stop you're talking too much quiet quiet it's enough <laughs> but yeah uh, as i said this sword's looking great um really happy to have it in my collection uh, it's the one i have from my childhood so it's not a later ebra buyer or something like that so i have it since the beginning i took it out of the box the way it is i have to maybe get some new stickers and relabel it I'm not sure if there's a big sticker difference from Japan to ours, as I said, besides the tires and some paint jobs and stuff. But um, I guess some labels like here uh, can see that start peeling off and I guess I have to redo that in the future. But baby steps, step by step, I will redo that. Um, yeah. Really, really like this Megazord, uh, the appearance. I did a recreation of this guy in, in Minecraft. Um, I did some of those. Um, I have to get back to that, but it's a lot of work to do such a big thing in, in, in Minecraft scale sync. I, I will put and post a picture here that you have an idea um, what the figure looks like, well, the Minecraft built. And, and if you're like gaming and that i do gaming in german and english because i'm basically from german so hello <laughs> that's what german sounds like and um yeah also i have a playlist with some minecraft builds of power ranger swords so feel free to check that out there on, on the main page in the playlists um enough playing for this um hope you like what you see if that's the case check out the previous um retro sword reviews or stay uh, subscribed no, not stay subscribed. Subscribe if you don't have already. Ring the bell to get notified because the next one is number 20 and that will be the Robo Racer from the Blue Centurion. So stay safe till next time.